woke up this morning and it was snowing. Well, actually it started snowing about noon. I haven't had any chances to get out up in the mountains, up in the canyon to take photos while it's snowing, some fresh snow, but I might want to try, I don't know, just coming up in the canyon tomorrow when it's done snowing because it is pretty bad out there. That's the mouth of the canyon. You can't even see the mountains and it's pretty bad. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go up, go really slow, take my time, be cautious, and if it seems like it's getting too sketchy, I'm just gonna head back, but I don't know, I got four wheel drive, so I think I'll be fine. I've driven in worse, so let's go ahead and start heading up. So I'm pretty sure this was just a terrible idea. I see like some cop lights up there. I think it's a snow plow, but I'm not gonna be surprised if they tell me to get out of here. <laughs> if they're telling people to go back down the canyon. It's getting very windy now, and I'm pretty convinced that this was a just terrible idea. It's a full on blizzard out here and you can't even see anything. Except for you can see that, which looks pretty dope. Kind of looks like something straight out of Skyrim. This is literally one of the worst ideas I've ever had. Oh. Literally feels like I have frostbite right now. And I was out there for like five minutes just trying to get some B-roll and I barely got anything. And that's when I decided this video is not happening. Full on raging blizzard right there. So now I don't know, I, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I guess we go home and, and do another video. I'm just. I'm so tired of just like sitting at my desk and just like talking to you guys about crap. And I was like, let's go do something. Like why didn't I freaking do vlogs in the summer? I do like going up in the mountains in the winter because no one else is there and you're alone. But this is a little extreme. Look at that. I guess we, we just go back and find something else to do. my room's a mess so I'm gonna clean it right now and and I'll be right back don't leave that was terrible that was really bad I don't it was literally so sketchy driving down that canyon and I didn't even go up that far but going back down took forever because I had to go so slow and it was just backed up with traffic it was terrible and I don't know why but I willingly went out there and subjected myself to that like I have terrible ideas so now you might be wondering well if you did go out there and have a successful day of taking photos what 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 kind of stuff would you have used well I'm glad you asked because Please don't leave. We're gonna do a what's in my camera bag. And I know, I know you've probably seen these before, but just wait, there's a catch to mine. My what's in my camera bag video is pathetic. Okay, okay, it's not that bad, but it's not anywhere near I want it to be. But before you click off the video, you might be thinking, well, I'm not gonna look at this. If you're, Man, I'm shaking this desk like crazy. If you're in a position where you're not anywhere near your 
You might want to stick around because this might show you what you can do with minimal gear. If you have this mindset like, I can't take good pictures because I don't have my dream bag, my dream like kit and gear, that's bullshit. I don't have mine and I like to think my pictures are pretty good. Anyways, let's get started with the bag. This is a Think Tank. That's the brand. I don't know what... What else it's called? Think Tank. If you want to find this bag, it looks like this. Very sleek and minimal look. I bought this bag a really long time ago and I've had it for like four years now, almost five, and I've just beaten the ever living shit out of it. And it is still in very good condition, as you can see. It looks great. It's nice and black. Something kind of funny though, right here, right here there used to be a strap going across like this, but I had to cut it off because I clipped a can of bear spray to it and I couldn't get it out, so I had to cut it off. <laughs> yeah, you got two pockets on either side for water bottles or whatever kind of stuff. You got a zipper in the front, that's a pretty small pocket where you could put things with a small profile or a thin profile. And then you have your computer and iPad area right here. And then you have the opening, the main opening, which we will dive into right now. But first things first, the saddest part, my camera. It's not in the bag, it's right here. I'm looking at the screen and not at you guys. It's right here because I only have one camera. So it's kind of kind of not ideal, but I make do. Hopefully one day I'll have a second camera so I can do stuff like this and make more camera-based tutorials. You're probably wondering why I have so many Lightroom and Photoshop tutorial videos because I don't have another camera, but I guess I could use my phone, but I'm a quality snob. The camera body I'm using is the Canon EOS R6. I love it. I've had it for about two years now and it's treated me really well. I hope to upgrade to the R5 at some point, but the R6 is doing it just a fantastic job. So I'm not in any rush to upgrade. And the main lens that I use is the Canon 15 to 35 millimeter 2.8. That lens is awesome. It's great for making videos like this. It's super sharp and it's great for taking wide angle landscape shots, which I do a lot. I also use it for work a lot where I take pictures of interior like Airbnbs and homes being sold and stuff like that. So it's really all I need, but I may only have one camera, but I do have a second lens which I use all the time. This lens is super awesome and really useful. That went differently in my head. I was about to do a funny bit and be a funny guy, but I'm not going to because this is literally like glued shut. This is not a real lens. It's like a water bottle. And you can see there's like a bunch of dust on it. I don't drink out of it very often because, probably because it gets glued shut like this. Oh, there we go. I'm strong. Stupid joke. I only have one lens and I only have one camera, but I make do and I take awesome pictures. And you can too. Then moving on, I have my vlogging microphone. This is the Rode Pro Plus and I have the dead cat on it right now. That does not come with it. You have to buy this separately. But this microphone is super awesome. I use it in all my vlog videos or when I'm not here at the desk and using this Rode microphone. Yeah, this one's really awesome. Highly recommend it. Next is this thing, Poncho for the Backpack, which I've only ever used it once in my life, but I am damn glad I had it because I feel like my this stuff in my backpack would have been absolutely drenched. Me and some friends went on a hike and took these pictures that looked freaking awesome. And then we had to hike like over two hours back to our car. And as soon as we started heading back, it started raining and eventually it was pouring on us. Like the most rain I've ever seen. And the trail was literally becoming a stream. And I was genuinely like starting to fear the possibility of like a flash flood. But this came in handy, it got soaked, and my backpack still got wet, but it kept everything inside of it dry. Next, I have one filter. This is the Polar Pro Peter McKinnon Edition 2 Variable ND Filter. Now, what is that, you might ask? An ND filter is basically sunglasses for your camera lens. 
so you can control the exposure a lot better. I pretty much only use this for when I'm taking a long exposure photo. So when it's really bright outside or if it's daytime, you need to set your exposure to really long to get that smooth effect in a waterfall. If you don't have one of these, your whole photo is just gonna be white because your shutter was left open for real because your shutter was left open for a really long time. So that's why you need one of these bad boys right here. And it has six to nine stops, so it can get pretty dark. I'm, am I stupid? I'm having a hard day. What? I put the thread side in to this thing and now I can't get this out and put this on. Finally, I should just go to bed, honestly. With the way things have been going today, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I go to edit this video and the audio wasn't recording or something's gonna be wrong. My one and only filter, it's really good. But you know what's not good? This auto ISO. I don't even know why I have it on auto ISO. Oh, I know why, because I, I had it on auto when I was vlogging and it's doing a really bad job at giving me what I want. Next thing in my bag is a headlamp. This is the best headlamp on the market. Just kidding, I don't know if that's true, but it is a really good headlamp. And it is by a company called Diamond, Black Diamond. Really good headlamp. I use this quite a bit when I'm out taking pictures at night, especially when I have a tripod set up. I used it when I was taking some photos of some lightning, and I plan to use it in the future when I do some astral photography, but it's just really handy when I'm just doing stuff and it's nighttime. So I keep it in my camera bag. A lot of photographers may not need this or find themselves using it, but I do. And also, you can use it quite a bit in your photos to create cool effects if you need some extra lighting in a certain area, or you could use it to like paint something in a long exposure to brighten it up and it has settings. I think I'm just making it dimmer. You can just have it shining on your hands so you're not just like blinding everything. And then you make it brighter again. And then, boom. Oh yeah, there's your floodlight. And then a red light. Okay, I'm going, we spent way too much time on the headlamp. And then next we have my cleaning kit. Sometimes I won't take this with me because it's in such a big box. I should get a different one. But just your basic stuff in here. Sensor wipes, uh, a rocket blower. Whenever people who don't know what this is sees it, they always like, their mind just goes somewhere weird. I don't know why. Pretty fun. Microfiber cloths and an extra screen protector. Stuff like that. The essentials. And then basically I have pretty ordinary stuff like uh, cubes to charge my iPad and laptop and phone and stuff like that and charging cords and a battery charger. And that's pretty much it in this main hole, but there's more. I already mentioned it, but then in the next pocket, in the next zipper, you have an area where you can store a laptop and an iPad. This is my iPad, it's the 11 inch, it's the smaller one. I wish I got the bigger one, but I was all like, I'm gonna be a minimalist and I want everything to be as small as possible. And then I regretted it and wanted a bigger one, but it's okay. I do a lot of my work on this. I do like pretty much all my Lightroom editing. I have a video already talking about why I like to edit on a iPad and do all my work on it. And maybe you should too. If you want, you can check that out. But I like to do all my editing on editing on here. Sometimes I'll even do some Photoshop work on here as well. iPad, love it, can't live without it. And then I have my MacBook, which is right there connected to this. So I can't really show you, but it's good. It's good. Now listen, I know that wasn't the most extravagant what's in my camera bag, but hopefully it was still a valuable video to you because you don't need a crazy $500 camera bag kitted out with $20,000 worth of equipment in it. Granted, that's sexy as f and I want that someday, but every photographer 
has to start somewhere and this is where I'm at right now little by little I try to accumulate more and more gear that's gonna help me but I do it in a specific way when I try to get something I think what is a piece of gear that can get me more money so then I can buy more gear you see what I'm saying anyways thanks for sticking around thanks for hanging out with me and watching maybe after this storm is over I'll get back out there and we'll do a fun little winter vlog. I know there's like this many people watching this, but please let me know. Do you want me to stay in here at the desk and just talk to you about tutorials and Lightrooms and taking pictures on phones? Or do you want to go out there? Let me know. Okay, bye. <laughs>